I'm Mike Grimes. This is my wife, Shauna Grimes. Our daughter is Cami Grimes. We're in Brandywine, Maryland. My water broke at 30 weeks and I was rushed to my local hospital. I was then flown to a different hospital and we had to do an emergency C-section. Well, she was in the NICU for two months. We were told um, probably about a week and a half after she was born that she had some brain injury due to um, loss of oxygen in utero. Um, so we were sort of preparing ourselves for some complications, but we weren't sure to the extent of what they would be. She has what they call PVL, periventricular leukomalacia, and that is what caused her cerebral palsy and epilepsy and multiple other health conditions. She can't eat anything by mouth. She's tube fed. Um, you know, she she's she's just a hundred percent dependent on on our care. You know, she she can't do anything for herself. I thought about contacting somebody probably within about six months after she was born. We kind of knew she wasn't hitting some milestones and things weren't happening. And at first, you don't think about it being somebody's fault or you don't want to think right away. You just want to believe that your child is going to be okay. And when you start to realize that they're not hitting their milestones and they're not sitting up, they're not rolling over and they're not being able to eat by mouth and then you start to worry and get concerned. And that's when I thought it was time that we um, start looking into it. We contacted a local lawyer and um, they didn't think we had a case at all. They, they told us no. Um, I mean, instantly. There was, they didn't even bother looking at any, any paperwork or anything that we might have you know, had or any records that we had to even justify their answer. You know, it was just no. So we contacted another uh, attorney who in turn put us in with our attorney that took the case. Um, he did contact Lisa and she contacted us, you know, via telephone and, you know, we, we talked with her for a little bit and, and in regards to what her role would be and, you know, how we would move forward with, with our case. And, but she was always a phone call away. She was never not there when we needed her. Every time we called her, if she didn't answer the phone the first time, she was calling us right away back within hours, if not minutes, she was calling us back. She would stay on the phone with us for as long as we needed her to stay on the phone. She helped us with every question that we had, with every concern that we had. She really made us feel very comfortable and like we were part of the family and she was going to take care of us and help us in any way that she possibly could. We just wanted to say thank you to Lisa Weinstein and Grant and Eisenhofer for always being there and walking us through the process and making sure that we were comfortable and a part of the process the way that we should have been and treated us with the respect and dignity that they treated us with.